right at the very top, without any question. You know, she will, when, when crime writers of the future look back and readers look back, uh, she will be up there with, you know, she will be up there with Conan Doyle and Agatha Christie and, you know, she really was, you know, the modern cream of, the queen of crime and she, she inherited that mantle from the likes of Agatha Christie and, and Dorothy L. Sayers, the great golden age queens of crime. What, what was special about her in particular? I mean, what was her, her particular talent in your view? I think she, she, was, a, she was a fan of, of, of detective fiction. She loved uh, detective novels. Um, but she, she honored, so she honored the tradition of the past, but she carved her own path through, uh, you know, detective fiction herself. She created a, a, a character who will endure in Adam Dalgleish. Um, she was somebody who was, who was fascinated by death. I know that sounds a very odd thing to say. Fascinated about why people, with what, why people do what they do. There's a very famous story. I don't know whether it's, it's true that when, as a child, she was first told the story of Humpty Dumpty, she said, yes, but did he, did he, you know, did he fall or was he pushed? You know, she, from a very early age, she had this fascination with, with death, with murder. Um, she knew that crime readers loved a mystery, loved a puzzle. So that was always at the heart of what she did. There was always a great story. But she was all, also fascinated with wider issues. And, and, and as she matured as a writer, those issues found their way into her books. Uh, she went on to work for the Home Office, didn't she? And she held a job in the Forensic Science Department. And there was a forensic approach to her work, wasn't there, in the attention to detail that she put in? Yes, I mean, she didn't start writing until relatively late. I don't think, I think her first novel came out when she was 40, 42, um, and then was writing for the best part of four decades. So she had a lot of experience. You know, she was already a mature writer when she started, uh, and somebody who'd been reading detective fiction all her life. And she was very forensic in her approach. She wasn't sentimental. She was a very compassionate writer, but her detective Dalgleish was never sentimental. If people needed putting away, they got put away. Um, but she always left her readers very satisfied, you know. Where did the conservatism come into it, her being a Tory peer in the end? Um, I, it didn't find its way into the books. That was, that was never something I think, you know, she never pushed her political beliefs on, on anybody. She, was, she cared about people. She wanted to, to look at why people ended up as victims or ended up as killers, how people interacted with one another. She was interested in, in, the, in the wider world and in society, but there was never a political agenda in, in what she wrote. The story always came first, which is how it should be. Patricia Cornwell has talked about her being a mentor and a teacher. How did she influence you, Mark? Well, she was, when I started writing, she was already, you know, a giant of the genre. And I had a, a very early encounter with her, which was, which was very scary for me. But, but also... And they sat her right at the front on this sort of settee. Uh, and I was, you know, just a few feet away from her delivering this opening speech. And for some reason, I decided to start with a kind of rather near-the-knuckle joke I don't know why I thought it was a good idea, but I was very aware that right in front of me is Phyllis, and I just thought, if she doesn't laugh, I'm doomed. You know, it's all going to go so badly. I did the joke, I glanced down, and she was giggling like a girl. You know, she had a fantastic sense of humour. Whether she thought it was funny or whether she was just laughing to make me feel at ease. But either way, it was wonderful. Every time I, I met her in, in, in the years after that, she was always wonderful. Very supportive of, of younger writers, which is, which is something not all writers are. Um, but she was, right till the very end.